physically our library is closed, but our director, Chris Yergolinas, and her workers, her staff, uh, the library board, they have this library in full swing. The library closed to the public on March 14th, and by that Monday, we had mobilized our staff to take our customer service um, to a new remote level, which we have never done before. And I have to say the feedback's been really great and the staff's been getting more creative as the day goes on. Some of the things that we're doing is we are checking voicemail and email messages that are sent to us. And you can call us at 201-592-3514 or 3515. One five. Something else that we've been doing is checking in with our regulars. We've been calling about 75 people every week, and everyone's really, really appreciative to hear from us, and they just did someone to talk to, which is great. We just started a stay-at-home read challenge. Uh, we have about 70 people signed up for that, and you can log your books for the month of April. We also created a special section of our website called FLPL at Home, and from there you can See all the different things that you can't do because you can't leave the house. Um, there's audio components to listen to, uh, you know, podcasts, information that's you know on your taxes or on the census. There's lots of homework resources for the kids that the youth services team has put together. So that's a really great resource that we're adding to about every day. We've also been doing a ton of social media as we posted what the staff was cooking at home, and I had like. My email box was filled with questions from patrons, including they wanted um, our Linda, who made a vegetable stew, to share her recipe, which we got back to that patron. So this is the vegetable stew. You can also use our digital resources. People have been using Hoopla a lot because there's no waiting list for eBooks. And if you don't have a library card, you can actually go to the Buckles website or from our website, there's a link, and you can get a virtual card and we'll give you a number to use while we're closed. And then you can come pick up your physical card when we do finally open. Another thing that we're really excited about is National Poetry Month. And um, over the weekend, we posted something by the mayor. He read um, To Be of Use by Marge Piercy. Without dallying in the shallows and swim off with sure strokes, we posted something from the Friends of the Library. She also, Michelle Perez, also read something for po National Poetry Month. And throughout the month, staff will be reading and posting these videos for everyone to enjoy. We also have some volunteer opportunities for our teens at home because that makes up a big part of what the teens do here. Um, so if you want to help our teen librarian, post social media content, tell her what you're reading, what you're doing. If you have an idea for a program when we open, um, we'd love to hear from you. Something else that we're really super proud of is our ESL coordinator, Sharon Wright, is running a virtual ESL department. She created a um, Facebook group. She has 75 uh, participants. Those are from our registered users who are getting online classes. We also have some of our tutors who started to use Google Hangouts and they're teaching classes um, to, to their students. So we're able to continue with some of our work. And you can email Sharon if you're an ESL student and you want to be part of that. Her address is Sharon.Wright, that's W-R-I-G-H-T, at fortlee.buckles.org. Um, we're trying to stay connected to the community. It's so important to us. We miss everybody, and we'll just keep doing this until we're back up in business. So please give us a call. Um, send us an email because we would love to hear from you.